Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be breaking down the new synopsis for Armageddon Part 4, as we have a big theory about what could be going down in this episode, and it also links into Barry becoming potentially evil in the future. Also, we're going to be going over Episode 3's synopsis, so Armageddon Part 3, because I haven't made a video on that either. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, we're going to be going over Part 3's synopsis first, and then we'll jump to Part 4, where we have a big theory, and this theory is thanks to Flash First. He was the one that came up with this great theory, so that will be in the description below. Okay, so let's go ahead and break down Armageddon Part 3. Black Lightning, Ryan Wilder, Alex Danvers and Ryan Choi appear. Barry meets Black Lightning at the Hall of Justice after things take a dire turn with Despero. Iris suspects something is off with Despero's vision of the future, so she seeks help from a powerful ally. Javizia Leslie, Kyla Lee and Osiri Chow guest star. So this is coming on the 30th of November, this is episode 3 of season 8, and yeah, let's break this down. So, what do we have in this synopsis? Well, we have the return of Black Lightning, he's appearing in part 2, so he's confirmed to be in two parts, which is very cool. Batwoman's going to be appearing, Alex Danvers is appearing, and Ryan Choi. I'm especially excited about Alex because it's our first Supergirl crossover since Supergirl has ended, so it's our first character that has returned post its ending. And that's always very exciting when that happens. You know, we have Black Lightning in this crossover, which is very cool. And recently on the shows, we had Diggle show up. So it's great to see Alex showing up. And she's going to be in more than one episode, which is very exciting. We'll go over that in just a moment. But let's go through the synopsis. So Barry meets Black Lightning at the Hall of Justice after things take a dire turn with Despero. So it seems like they get back together. And after their kind of pep talk in episode two, which has been teasing the synopsis and also in some of the trailers for this week's episode. Obviously, this is airing later tonight because it's currently Tuesday when I'm recording this. I think they're both going to come together and they're going to actually team up and face off against Despero. And so Iris suspects something is off with Despero's vision of the future, so she seeks help from a powerful ally. I'm not sure who that powerful ally is. Could it somehow be linked to Reverse Flash? We'll get on to Reverse Flash in a minute, but... I guess that powerful ally could be Reverse Slash, although I would never describe him as an ally. But I guess I'm trying to think of anyone who can time travel and basically confirm Iris' suspicions about Despero's future being slightly off and being skewed in his favour so that he can get revenge for whatever he is trying to get revenge for. Okay, let's move on to the next bit. So, part 4 of Armageddon, let's go for this synopsis and this is the big thing I wanted to talk about. So, Barry faces off with Eobard Thorn. So, Thorn is returning in this episode. Barry is shocked when Eobard Thorn returns in the most unexpected way with a tie to a loved one. And now, this is where I'm saying maybe Iris goes to Thorn because that is maybe the tie to the loved one. Now, let's move on from here. So, it goes on to say... Damien Dark offers advice to Barry, but there is a catch. An epic battle begins with Reverse Flash pitted against The Flash, Team Flash, Batwoman, Sentinel, and Ryan Troy, who will obviously be suited up as the Atom. I don't think there is any passing of the mantle. I'm not sure how he officially becomes the Atom, but we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, let's break down this synopsis. So, Thorn is back and he returns in an unexpected way. We don't know what that unexpected way is. However, I do think that definitely the tie is to Iris and what was teased in the previous synopsis, as I mentioned. And Barry's obviously shocked to see Thorn return, although Thorn always promises to return and it's pretty much inevitable that he'll come back. But I guess the circumstances around this will be the reason that Barry's shocked. And so Damien Dark returns. Obviously, he hasn't been seen in quite a long time. I think the last time he showed up was on Legends of Tomorrow during Season 2 when you had him and Reverse Flash together, so it's kind of nice to see those two back, and he's going to be offering advice to Barry, but there is a catch. So what is the reason why Damien Duck happens to stumble across the Flash in Central City? Well, it probably has a link to Thorn, because in some of the earlier synopsis of like the whole crossover, they kept on teasing the link between those two characters and them showing up, so I think he's offering advice about how to take on Thorn, but I don't know what that catch is, and obviously he's not 
a friend of Barry's, so of course there's going to be some sort of catch if he's going to offer him anything. But we'll just have to wait and see as to what exactly that is. So an epic battle begins with a reverse flash pitted against the Flash, Team Flash, Batwoman, Sentinel and Ryan Choi. As I mentioned, Ryan's going to be suited up. Sentinel, Alex Danvers, is a great fighter and obviously she has her alien weaponry and she is well trained so I guess they will probably stand a chance with the mix of Team Flash, The Flash and then Batwoman who is also a great fighter like Sentinel and Ryan Choi obviously is going to be able to use his atom powers and so it's going to be a big battle but is there a greater meaning to this big battle? Now this is where the theory comes in. So episode 4 obviously is teasing this big battle we know is going to go down and it's probably going to continue into part 5 of the crossover because obviously that's the final episode and we need to kind of figure out what's going on with Despero why is Team Flash and everyone going off against Reverse Flash rather than Despero where is Despero so that will definitely be answered in part 5 but in regards to the theory we have a big battle with Reverse Flash and then we have also Green Arrow who is Mia, and then we have Batwoman, we have the Atom, and all these people were referenced in the Flash Vanishing in Crisis article. Now, this is the most recent update of the article, it's not the original season 1 version, and so in terms of the Atom, it can be Ryan Choi, not Ray Palmer, and Batwoman's not Ruby Rose's Batwoman, but it is in fact Javisa Leslie's version of Batwoman, and so those are the people that team up. Now, if this is in fact a reference to that, and maybe that's the reason why they wanted these specific characters to return in Armageddon, could it be that this big battle is the battle that was prophesized that would create this crisis, and Barry would go back in time, and that would be the night where Reverse Flash kills Barry's mum? Could that be the case? Now, I'm going to say it's likely. It makes all too much sense that you have all of these characters. However, the only contradictory element of this theory is the fact that the article mentions Supergirl and White Canary. Now, we've had no confirmation that Sarah Lance is going to show up anywhere, and we know that Supergirl isn't going to show up unless it's a tiny, tiny cameo that Melissa somehow snuck in at the end of her shooting schedule, which I would say is 99% not going to happen. I mean, I think there's like a 1% chance she might show up for a minute, but I think there might be other replacements for these characters, like instead of Supergirl, it would be Alex Danvers, who is obviously heavily related to Supergirl, and I'm not sure who would be the White Canary kind of spin-off character who would take her place. I presume it could be anyone who is a great fighter and can just replace her. And also the fact that Barry goes into the time vault. So what does he see there? Well, obviously he's looking towards his future because Despero has talked about how Barry is going to lose his mind and he's going to become evil and essentially destroy the world. That is pretty much what he was teasing. So future Flash is obviously a great danger to the world. Now Barry's going to be inside the time vault and he's going to be looking at something, we saw that in the trailer, and the room is flashing red and everything during the shot in the trailer. So could it be that he's looking at a future newspaper article about his misdeeds in the future and could that Crisis article come back up as maybe it wasn't meant for Crisis on Infinite Earths but a future crisis? And so could this moment be the moment where we finally go back to the night that Reverse Flash kills Barry's mum and Barry goes back in time and we see the original timeline flash. Now what do you guys think about that? I think it's an interesting theory that definitely makes some sort of sense with all these different characters because essentially we have all these characters that were teased in this original newspaper from back a couple of seasons ago when it was altered for Crisis and that big battle never went down with those specific heroes, so could it come to fruition here? And I think it's definitely possible. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel if you do that. Also subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. You can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll see you guys later tonight for my Flash review after it airs. I hope you're excited for part 2 of Armageddon. So for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy road.